Hey, I'm Christian. Welcome to Brain Stuff. We've all seen bank robberies in movies like Point Break or Heat, and I'll admit, I've got a little bit of an addiction to the video game Payday 2. Moral quandaries aside though, bank robberies have often been romanticized throughout history, especially during times of economic instability. So it's no wonder that across the United States, people from various walks of life have occasionally thought, hey, why shouldn't I rob a bank? Let me stop you right there, Slick. There are several reasons you shouldn't, even if you think you have the perfect plan. First, it's dangerous. Completely innocent people could and do die in robberies. Criminals in this town used to believe in things. Honor, respect. It's also obviously illegal and not some kind of wishy-washy blue law kind of illegal like selling beer on a Sunday. It is a straight up felony. The average sentence for federal bank robbery, which means robbing any FDIC member bank, can vary widely. Was anyone injured? How much money did the criminals take? Were weapons involved? And when the robbers are caught, they can be looking at decades in jail. Notice that I said when they're caught, not if. That's the second thing. If you rob a bank, you will probably get caught. According to the Department of Justice, the FBI's clearance rate for bank robbery is nearly 60%, and about half of those are solved within 30 days. It makes sense when you think about the typical bank robbery. Of the 5,014 US bank robberies that took place in 2011, most occurred during the day, meaning there were multiple witnesses. The police are notified as quickly as possible, and it is a safe bet that there's photographic evidence too. Did you know Tuesdays and Fridays are the most popular days of the week for a bank robbery? And let's face it, most of these robbers, they're amateurs. More than 80% of them have no prior convictions for bank crime, and 80% operate alone using predictable patterns. These guys don't imagine a fella smarter than themselves and try to think, what would he do? These criminals are often apprehended on the same day of the robbery, and banks are full of strategies for catching them. But let's say you've already thought of that, right? You've seen heist films like Ocean's Eleven or the Joker heist in The Dark Knight, and you know that a well-organized team can make the difference between early retirement in the Caymans or a long bit in Sing Sing. Professional bank robbers tend to operate in crews using weapons and stolen vehicles. It is true that a crew can up your chances of a successful heist. A study by several British economists found that every extra member of a gang raises the expected value of the robbery proceeds by 9,033 pounds, or for us here in America, $15,212. But keep in mind that the haul per person will go down with every new member you add to the team. Still set on a career in heists? Remember, you can't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Are the terrible odds, the legal consequences, and the risk to innocent life not enough to dissuade you? All right, fine. Consider this last fact. Bank robberies don't actually make that much money. According to the study I just mentioned, the average return on a bank heist in the UK is about $19,700 per person per heist. In the US, it's even worse, a bit over $4,000 in 2009. While that might sound like a lot of scratch, it is not enough to set you up for life. As of 2013, the current US poverty threshold is an annual income of $11,490 for one person. This means you'd have to rob three banks a year and keep all of the loot just to make ends meet. Of course, this doesn't mean that heist movies aren't cool, just that you shouldn't try them at home or in a bank. So what's your favorite heist movie? Let us know in the comments and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, you should totally visit us at brainstuffshow.com. I write wicked smart stuff on there.